what is going on guys welcome back to channel critical overload here's about halloween ends in this video here again today so i want to share my thoughts on going back over thinking about what jamie lee curtis has already said coming out stating that the ending is not going to sit well with some people regarding halloween ends and how some people are going to be upset leaving the theater or however you decide to watch it when you decide to watch the movie she is certain this will not be something that satisfies everyone so going off of that what if Jamie Lee Curtis's character of Laurie Strode, who with Halloween ends, this is being billed up as like the main event, the final confrontation between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, which I think even the 2018 film was built like that. I think I might be mistaken, but let's say that this final confrontation only lasts for one act and then some action in the second act, which unfortunately leads to a very early death for the character of Lori Stroll where she dies midway through the movie is that the thing that will upset everyone there's chances of that happening yes but considering that she was on set a lot longer I don't really think that will happen but let's just pretend it does if that does happen then I guess that will leave you with the thought of are the other people that we have going to be strong enough to carry the narrative if they have structured Halloween ends with Lloyd Strode taking the taking the narrative again to kind of be the main focus point like she was in the 2018 film where everyone else is also there getting their development. But you are getting a very clear indication that this is once again Lori's story and not the town of Haddonfield story. If it mostly starts off like that, but then you unfor but then you ultimately just kill her off midway through to shock your audience for whatever reason. <laughs> Have you done a good job at developing the other characters that are there? So like your Lindsay Wallace's, uh, Allison Nelson. You even have, uh, dang it, I can't even think of his think of his name right now. The officer that shot Michael, uh, Hawkins. Hawkins, I believe that's the name, Hawkins. You have Hawkins. Have you developed him? Have you developed any of the other new characters that is, I'm assuming will be associated with Allison? Allison's new friends. So... If Lori dies midway through, you would have to have some characters lined up to again pick up that mantle and carry us into the end of this, where Michael Myers would ultimately have one conf one last confrontation with Allison, which I have already stated. I think that's how it should end. I think that Allison should be the one who has the final confrontation with the shape. Now, does she have to be the one to kill him? No. She should just be the one, I think, in that position, like where Laurie Strode found herself in the 1978 film. And then maybe Laurie can come in and act as like a Dr. Loomis, where she takes out the shape after Allison battles the shape for a good 10 minutes or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Or maybe even Hawkins comes in and does the deed and puts an end to it once and for all. Allison doesn't have to be the one to kill the shape. I just think that Allison being in a confrontation with the shape at the end of the movie would kind of be like a way to kind of give her a chance to kind of get back the narrative that she maybe feels like she's had stolen from her and whatever trauma she's dealing with post halloween 2018 post halloween kills and just have that little brief confrontation go down where it's something that mirrors what we saw from laurie and michael in the in the 1978 original film if Lori dies midway through, though, of course, I think the easiest character to fall back on, yes, would be Allison Nelson. Allison Nelson and then Lindsay Wallace as well, if she's still even factored into the narrative that much as I hope she is. Uh, and just working with those two. And then, of course, Hawkins. I've seen some people even state that Hawkins should be the one to kill Michael Myers because that would ultimately be his full circle moment because I've seen some people argue that, you know, Lori had her moment at the end of 2018 when she managed to trap the shape in the basement, even though he wasn't dead. You know, she kind of got that sense of, you know, I'm in control again by doing that. And then Allison got that as well, really, when she assisted her grandmother so if hawkins were to do the deed and kill the shape in the end after Lori dies midway through the movie maybe that's something else that goes along with what many people will not have a good a good uh feeling towards because there is a section of the fandom i know out there who are just so convinced that it has to be Lori to do this Lori has to do this if not Lori, then no one should be doing it. Lori and Michael should die together. That's another thing I wouldn't mind happening. 
and then they just don't want anyone else but Lori to do the deed but there's also certain things that back up yes hawkins doing the deed and bringing his narrative full circle as we saw in halloween kills he blames himself for what happened in the aftermath of the six gunshots at the end of the 78 original film in this timeline anyway he blames himself for what happened in the Myers house when they cornered Michael for what happened to his partner that night. And because of the fact that he stopped them from killing the shape on that night, he was just thinking about someone's little boy. I think he said he's, he was thinking about when he stopped them. So he feels a little bit of guilt regarding the things that have happened in the 2018 film in Halloween Kills. And of course, what happened in the aftermath of the six gunshots in the 78 flashback that we saw. So if he were to get his vengeance in a way or to clear his mind through killing the shape that wouldn't be a bad thing to do necessarily but it all again comes down to how you portray it on screen how do you convince your audience that this was the right decision to make narratively even if it wasn't the right decision to make for some people do you give a strong case for the fact that okay well even though it wasn't what i wanted to see i will accept it because of the narrative you have uh told me the journey you have put me through and the cushion you've given this character and why they deserve to have that big moment i think a lot of people just are convinced it should be lord but if she dies midway through the movie maybe that is the thing that will have everyone up in awe or have an uproar amongst some people in the family where they're like oh you shouldn't have done that you shouldn't have done this you shouldn't have done that but i think that if she dies midway through and you give us a final act that lives up to her sacrifice assuming she sacrifices herself then i don't think many people will have a problem with it i think the problem will mostly just stem from the fact that oh my gosh she died again and she didn't even get to kill the shape once again the shape has killed her which many people already didn't like how she died in resurrection so i hope if she were to die it's not something that is going to bring back any bad memories of any one of you who sadly witnessed resurrection in theaters uh so we'll see what happens if she dies midway through do you think that's what will be the thing that many people will not like or do you think it's something else let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description i link to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video